I've never seen Shawn Michaels so happy. Great fans today, I got in some wrestling figures. These are from 1991 and 92. Man, these new WWF figures! <laughs> I've got some first series. I've got some second series. I've got some legends. Oh, yeah. And I've got Brutus. I've got tag teams. Now, these figures are all in really great shape. Which one is worth the most? Which one is worth the most? One of these is worth about $100 loose. Loose, meaning not in the package. Which one could it be? What is your guess? Do you know who this is? Well, this is actually Shawn Michaels. That's the Heartbreak Kid. That is the happiest I have ever seen the Heartbreak Kid. Yes, Heartbreak Kid. He was part of the Rockers. So you can see they are a tag team. They have matching outfits with Marty Jannetty. They were the Rockers. They actually won some titles. Now, each of these particular figures, they have different things that they do. You can see here that he, Marty has a good with the elbow. He's good with the elbow and he also he also goes down so he can he can spring across the ring which is great for tag team here you have Sean he is he's obviously tagging in or tagging out here now he has a different thing he has this thing on the back where he can I don't I don't know what this is but this is kind of cool so he can he can do some cool things his legs are molded together so, I don't know what happened, but Sean, I just, I'm just glad Sean's so happy. That's a tag team. You can, you can put these, there he goes. I don't know what he's doing there, but they're, they're cool things here. There's another one that also has his legs together, and this is Brutus. Brutus the Beefcake. Brutus the Barber. He is one of the most famous, he would have this accessories, he would probably have scissors there. He has the same thing here, so he can... He can, I, I, I don't know what these guys do with this thing. It's, it's, hey, hey, hey. I don't know. It's, it's intimidating because Brutus is intimidating. Brutus. We'll put Brutus over here. I do have a tag team that you have to sell your tag teams together. You know why? Because you don't have a tag team if it's only one person. You are just an individual. Now, this is Demolition Tag Team. Now, there was three members of that tag team. There's Axe, Crutch, and Smash. Axe could not make it. I got Crush and Smash here. You can see that he has a little difference. So they did take the time to do different things with these guys. This guy will actually turn and punch you. Gosh, that's pretty cool. Punch you, yeah. And he looks intimidating. Put him over here with the other tag teamers. You see, these guys are not happy. Very happy. This, this he's, he, he doesn't do anything too exciting. He moves. He's just, uh, yeah, yeah. He's probably, he's probably the one... On the sidelines there. Now this is a guy that you probably may not remember. You'd have to remember. This is Akeem. He is Series 1. He's a Series 1. He's his. This is Akeem, but he is better known as the One Man Gang. He thought he was Akeem, and he had a short-lived... I don't know what he does here. I haven't quite figured him out. Maybe that's why he didn't last as long. But he's cool. He's first series, and he's got yellow boots. This guy, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He would have his 2x4 uh, in here. He is known for his 2x4. He always has his 2x4. He, he, he is, he is, this is a great looking figure. He has been around. He might even still be wrestling. He is just, he's, he's like the Dick Clark of the WWE, WWF. He is just always around. But that's Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and he's, he's still rocking. All right. Of course, we have, speaking of, this is Jake the Snake Roberts. I mean, he used to come out with the snake. He's got cool pants. He's got cool hair. He's I haven't quite figured out what Jake was supposed to do. I've, I've He has like a spring in here. I don't know if it has something to do with the snake. He may not be functional, maybe. But Jake the snake, he had the cool... He carried the snake out in his bag. Awesome. This figure's awesome. One of my favorite guys of all time, Ravishing Rick Rude. Yes, Ravishing Rick Rude. Ravishing... That is just, look at the hair is ravishing. The purple pants. I mean, if you can wear these purple pants, have that hairstyle. I mean, that is ravishing. I think that is the most aptly named wrestler there is. You can see he's got his headlocks where you can, you get, you know, when you get in the headlock, you gotta, you gotta give him the business down there a little bit. But that's ravishing Rick Rude. Now, ravishing Rick Rude, he is no longer with us. He died tragically. We're going to put him right over here and we're going to talk about what they do for wrestlers that have passed away. Now these guys, one of these guys, loose figure, 
is worth about a hundred dollars. Loose, loose meaning not in the package. Could it be the Macho Man, the Hulkster, or the American Dream that is Dusty Rhodes? Let's talk about these guys. Now, two of these guys are no longer with us. The Macho Man, Macho Man was one of the greatest wrestlers ever. He was so cool. He was the Macho Man. He he died tragically, but he's he's this is this is Series One, Series One where he has the orange tights with the white stars. People like that. It's so it's Series One. It's the first one that came out, and he wants you to snap into a Slim Jim. Slim Jim. He is cool. He is awesome. Is he worth the most? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Rick right over here. This is the Hulkster, probably one of the most well-known wrestlers of all time. And this is Series 1, because it says Hulk rules here. Looks like he, he picks people up and he throws them, like his famous match with Andre the Giant, where he actually picked Andre the Giant up. Andre is actually worth one of the, one of the most desirable figures in this particular line. This is the Titan line for Hasbro. There's the Hulkster. He is still around. He is still cool. And these two guys had some of the greatest fights ever. Now, this is a legend. This is Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes, he also has a son who, who wrestles as well. He he is no longer with us. Um, he's He also has different... I, I haven't quite figured out. He just... Maybe he throws people. Maybe he does certain things. He was around a long, long time. He is a Hall of Famer. A Hall of Famer. He was one of the most charismatic guys there was out there. I mean, he's the American dream. And he wasn't always in the... He was kind of a, a wrestler that didn't have, like, you know, you have Ravishing Rick Rude and the Macho Man. They're just in great, great shape. He was kind of the everyday guy. And plus, I don't know where you buy this outfit, but it's interesting. It is Dusty Rhodes, and he has also has sons that also wrestle as well. So what is your guess on the most expensive out of these... Oh, sorry, Dusty. Out of these three. Well, there's... Two different schools of thought here. The the one that is worth the most loose. Sorry, Hulkster. It ain't you. Macho man. Not you. It is Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes, this is a, one of the most desirable figures. It can sell up for doop, doop, $100. Yes, Dusty. Now, one of the cool things that they do, and they did it for Dusty. And I, I think they did, a trib they did more of a tribute for the Macho Man. Ravishing Rick Rude, who just died like at 40. They have something called the Ten Bell Salute. So when wrestlers pass away, the WWF has a Ten Bell Salute. All the wrestlers come out. It's really a nice ceremony. Um, the entire cast is out there, including Vince McMahon. And they have a moment of silence, and they do it. They did it for Dusty. They did it for Rick Rude. Um, Macho Man, I, I know they had a tribute to him as well. I don't know if they did the 10 bell salute for him, but they, they don't just save that for that 10 bell salute just for wrestlers. There's some non-wrestlers. After September 11th, they had the 10 bell salute. When um, President Bush, the first one, when he passed away, they did a 10 bell salute. And they, they did one for Martin Luther King Jr. to honor him and some of the different tragedies that they've had. So the WWE, they do have... Um, some traditions and some cool things that go on. So, but the Macho Man, the Macho Man, if you can find the Macho Man in Series 1, on his card, in good condition, he can be worth, yes, that's a sold price. So the Macho Man is always going to be one of my favorites. Actually, all these guys were great. Wrestling is a lot of fun. I really appreciate you watching. Please! Like, subscribe, share with someone, even if you're just a keen for a year. Yes, a lot of these figures, they are collectible. Wrestling is really hot right now because these guys were cool. They were awesome. They were entertaining. They were part of people's um, memories. They get nostalgic about these things. Um, I am just happy to get some of the great ones here. Um, Dusty, we miss you. Rick, Macho Man. You know, and Shawn Michaels, I'm just so glad you look so happy in retirement.